What's poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another film review. We have taken a look at a lot of films involving Leonardo DiCaprio over the past couple of weeks, over the past couple of months even, with it being Catch Me If You Can, we also took a look at Great Gatsby, and also his other one, The Wolf on Wall Street. Very similarly, we've taken a look at a lot of Margot Robbie movies over the past couple of weeks, past couple of months, with Focus, and Barbie and a couple of others as well so um they are back together in a movie co-starring with each other uh for a movie that came out in 2019 2020 just before the pandemic called once upon a time in hollywood yes this is another three hour movie and spoiler alert this is not a happy review this is a very very upset review um, this movie was not as good as I thought, this movie was not what I expected. So without any further delay, let's get into what Google has to say. Right, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a 2 hour and 40 minute movie, basically 3 hours. And it has a 7.6 out of 10 IMDb and 86% on Rotten Tomatoes. That is, that's shocking, to be fair. I did not expect it to be that high. You can watch this on Netflix, where I watched it, you can also buy it on Google Play and also buy it on Amazon Prime. So, Rick, a wanted out, a washed out actor, and Cliff, his stunt double, struggle to recapture fame and success in the 1960s Los Angeles. In their mission, they must tackle se severe twists and turns. So basically, they were good cowboy actors back in the day, then the cowboy show pretty much went down the drain, and they are now really shitty people. Um, they go around trying to get new jobs in movies and stuff, and there's a revival for his cowboy show, so he takes it. However, Cliff doesn't become his stunt double anymore, and he has to go find another job. He goes to check up on the person who, ra who made the original series, and he's surrounded by hippies. He doesn't really like that, he doesn't really trust it, and he ends up going forward and beating the shit out of most of them, which then sends them in an angry frenzy, who then basically comes to try and kill him and Leonardo DiCaprio. They beat the shit out of them, and set them on fire, and kill three people, and get away with it. The second story is with Margot Robbie, who literally just goes to the cinema to watch her own movie, gets really giddy about it, gets really self-centered about it, gets pregnant, and goes to a couple of parties, and that's the movie. Three hours, right? And it took me one fucking minute to summarize it. The movie has no direction. It just, it's all over the place. I struggled to follow the story, Maybe that's why I missed a couple of plot points, and that's why it was so quick to summarize, because it's literally just what I can remember. I watched this last night, and it is still fresh in my head with my same feelings of what the fuck even happened in that movie. I was very bored, very confused, and I didn't go on my phone, because I knew if I did, I would be even more lost and confused. So this film had my full attention trying to wrap my feeble mind around it. Because I just didn't understand what this movie was supposed to be. Like, it's washed up actors trying to get back into acting. But the way they go around it is so random and obscure. It's just a list of things that happens. It's not an entertaining movie. And it's not an entertaining, well thought out story with a good ending. They kill three people. And then it's over. They, they kill three people. And then it's done. And it's, they get celebrated for just killing three people. Fair enough. They tried to kill them first. But then again, Cliff or Brad... Who is it? That guy. I forgot his name. On the left. Star of Bullet Train. He just came into their village. Their like little town. Their little ranch, farm, whatever it was. And just beat the shit out of someone. And started causing trouble. So he fucking started it to begin with, and they're incredibly racist and incredibly angry at hippies for no fucking reason. I mean, I guess it is the 60s, it is that kind of a time, it is that kind of a um, place, but still, what the fuck? This movie is so random. Margot Robbie's story, she goes to watch her own movie, she gets really big-headed, she gets pregnant... And that's it. That's all she does in the movie. 
I could the movie could have been so much shorter if she wasn't in it, and probably have a much less budget for having her in it as well. Like if if they removed her from the movie, it would have still had the same effect because literally her entire thing is that she lives next door to Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's like oh. Well, look who I'm next door to. That's it. That's the only interaction they have for the first part of the movie. Until right at the end, after he's just killed three people, Margot Robbie invites him into the house. As, like, their first meeting is in their first sort of, let's go, let's get together. As, like, a, oh, have a drink and talk about it and make you feel safe and stuff. And he just leaves his wife. His wife. In the house alone. He has almost just been murdered. People have attempted to kill him take his life and his dog and his wife's life away. And what does he do? Go and have fucking tea with the next door neighbor while she is alone in the house asleep. She is out cold because she has taken like sleeping pills. So there is no fucking waking her up. So there is nothing there to like stop anyone else coming and like getting into the house and killing her. And that's on him. That is completely on him. This movie is so stupid. The set design is boring. Most of it goes on a farm. Most of it goes on his house. And in the fucking car as well. The actors, they have some incredible actors in this movie. But for what? They do fuck all. This movie isn't funny like it's trying to be. The only good bit was the ending when they were fighting in the house. Like it was some mindless action, which I quite enjoyed and the only bit of the story which i fucking understood like i understood why they went to go and kill him i understood their motives they was high and their ideas just came flowing through and i fucking under i understood the, the high people like the people literally on drugs who shouldn't be making coherent sense more than the people who were trying to be coherent and just going through it was literally just a list of stuff that happened there's no sort of story there. There's no structure. It just sort of happened. It was like watching a vlog. Someone's vlog which hasn't been edited properly. Like they've just uploaded the like random clips and shoved them together and hoped that it would be a good vlog. I don't understand this movie. I wasted three fucking hours watching this movie. And I hate that. I hate that I wasted three hours watching this movie. Like, some movies are really long. They're like three hours. You come out of it like, holy shit, that was the best movie ever. Some three-hour movies, you come out and you think, what the fuck was that? I just wasted my time. And this is one of those times where you feel like you wasted your time. And it's very upsetting. It is very, very upsetting. Um, so, I again, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm not your parent. I'm not your guardian. I'm not your dad, your mum, your sister, your brother, your dog, your cat, your hamster, your turtle, your gerbil. I'm none of that. I have no sort of authority over you. I'm a random guy on the internet, and I am giving you a recommendation that you don't have to take. You are your own person. You can make your own decisions. But I'm recommending that you do not waste your time watching this movie because it is just a waste of three hours and I'm trying to help you. I don't want you to waste three hours. I want you to have a good time and there is better ways to spend three hours. You can draw. You can go outside. You can touch grass. You can play a video game. I Anything is better than watching this movie. Literally anything. The, the best part about it was the stunts and there's been loads of Hollywood movies talking about how Hollywood movies are made and the only good one is Fall Guy. And that came out this year. And I prefer Fall Guy. I'm going to be honest. If you want to watch a movie based around a stuntman who's fallen off, go watch go watch go watch Fall Guy. It's a whole lot better. It's a whole lot more interesting and you will have a better time. You'll have a more fun time and it will give you a better feeling of like, you know, having accomplished something with your time, having a good story. I literally have nothing else to say about this movie. It's a boring waste of time. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all next year. I hope you all have an excellent day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. If you do want more content like this, you do want more film reviews, show reviews, anime reviews, please do let me know down in the comments what you want me to review next. And I'll get on that as soon as possible. And you know, leave the show title so I can find it easier, and it should be coming in the next couple of months, whether you comment it down below. 
And uh, yeah, uh, bye.